winter, but there is an expo that has everything you need to explore the great outdoors. Jordan Segundo, Mr. Outdoors himself, is getting a special preview. Can't come <laughs> back to the station without catching dinner. <laughs> That's right. I, I already caught one, guys. Take a look at the big trout that I just caught. But guess what? I'll have to release it. That's what they're doing here at the 35th Annual Sacramento International Sportsmen Festival. So this pond right here is part of the uh, Kids Expo that's actually going to be opening up tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So today they're actually getting things ready, getting a lot of the trout in there. But there's a lot of big trout. we got John here from the Expo. So tell us about... Uh, Coming back here again, 35 years, bringing all of your vendors and everybody here to California, right? Yeah, COVID was tough, but we're back, and everybody is waiting for an outdoor show. Going back outdoors, meeting people again face-to-face, -face, booking their trips, buying their tackle, talking to people who can give them tips. It's really a, it's a big celebration. It really is, and it's one for the entire family. Again, uh, doors open today at 11 o'clock. It's going all the way through Sunday. We're standing in uh, Pavilion C, which will eventually be the Kids uh, Expo. What's, what's going to happen here with, with this fish tank right here? Well, we give kids a chance to catch and release a fish. It's important that they know how to catch, mm -hmm. and it's as important that they know how to release. And so we show them how to do that. We give them all the tackle. Um, they have experts, and then they learn what to do when they go outdoors. And it's so important to teach these little kids, uh, you know, the love of fishing, but also the right way to do it and Absolutely. go about it, right? Absolutely, and that's why you have Cal Parks here. They're talking about how to, go, when you go camping, how to treat the outdoors. We have the Boy Scouts here that are helping you learn skills to be reliant, self-reliant. Um, and it's all about the volunteers who are managing the outdoors in, in California and uh, activities for all the kids, various ages, uh, just to kind of get a sampling so that then they can choose what they like best and what they don't. There's an RC test track over there mm -hmm. for the kids, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Rock climbing wall, again, all free. It's so fun for the kids to come out here, you know, when they come out here and explore different things. Now, I know with the weather we've been dealing with, has that impacted or affected, you know, any of uh, the vendors or anybody coming out here maybe wanting to learn about ways and how to help the weather or how weather has been you know, impacting the industry? It's a great question and I think what the water has done is given everybody who loves the outdoors hope. We hear disaster, disaster. Yes, there are disasters, but water means reservoirs raise up. It means forage for fish, therefore it means fish. It means less of a chance of a fire in the woods, so the animals are back. And so hunters are people who want to go out and watch. And so really, the weather is hope. Oh, that is fantastic, John. Again, the Sacramento International Sportsman Expo. It kicks off today. Doors open at 11 o'clock right here at Cal Expo. Again, the entire expo goes all the way through Sunday if you can't make it out today. But if you want to bring your little one out here to learn how to catch and release again, that's going to happen tomorrow at 3 o'clock. All the information up on our website. Coming up in the next half hour, though, we'll be heading into the vendor market and show you some of the fun products and items that you'll get to enjoy if you love the great outdoors. Back to you in the studio. Okay. I hope you're hungry because there's a lot of beef jerky samples. I'm hungry. Yeah, yeah. I, I covered that a few years back and I was like, wow, there's a lot of beef jerky here. Sure, I'll try that. I'll try this. <laughs>